It's no secret that hackers have a bad reputation. While not completely unearned, hackers can actually fall into multiple categories. Some are helpful for advancing cybersecurity. Others are downright bad or even morally gray. Hackers generally fall into three broad categories, white hat hackers, black hat hackers, and gray hat hackers. Here's what you need to know. White hat hackers are known to be ethical hackers. You can think of them as the good guys. They are cybersecurity professionals who work with organizations to identify the security vulnerabilities within their systems. With their help, organizations can find their flaws before the malicious hackers do. One of the ways white hat hackers use their skills to help fortify an organization's security is to perform a penetration test. This is where they simulate a cyber attack to evaluate the security of an organization's systems. Black hat hackers are the typical kind of hackers we think of. These hackers are malicious and often called cyber criminals or threat actors. Black hat hackers are typically motivated by financial gain, so they'll exploit the vulnerabilities in your system and online accounts to steal data, install malware, or disrupt operations. Black hat hackers use a variety of methods to hack, including distributed denial of service attacks, exploiting data breaches, and installing malware. Gray hat hackers act neither maliciously nor from a strict code of ethics. If this comes across as unpredictable, your instincts are right on. Gray hat hackers are often found looking into your system's security, but without your permission or knowledge. They'll leverage this by requesting a fee for their findings. For example, a gray hat hacker may look into the security vulnerabilities within your organization and offer to report them only in return for a price. So what steps can you take to protect yourself against malicious hackers? Here are three steps you should follow to ensure that you are well prepared. Tip number one is to use strong and unique passwords. It's important to create strong and unique passwords because malicious hackers target individuals who use weak and common passwords. Remember that a strong password is made up of at least 16 characters and contains upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Creating strong passwords makes it challenging for hackers to compromise your accounts. Tip number two, enable MFA on your online accounts. Multi-factor authentication is an extra layer of security added to your online accounts. MFA requires you to verify your identity with an additional method, such as using a hardware security key, authentication app, or an SMS code. Enabling this makes it even more challenging for cyber criminals to gain unauthorized access. Tip number three, keep your software up to date. Whenever a new update becomes available for your device, do not hesitate to install it. Software updates patch security flaws on your systems and devices. Malicious hackers exploit the ones that aren't updated in order to deliver malware. Not all hackers are created equal, whether motivated for the common good, financial gain, or whatever else. Remember that you're in control of staying prepared with tips like these.